So for today, we're talking all about back bends, wheel pose, bridge pose, Urdhva Dhanurasana, all of these names. Now, back bends are something that for some people, they come quite naturally, and for other people, they're quite a struggle, either due to lack of flexibility or due to lack of strength to push up. So in this video, I'm going to talk about three different things. The first thing I'm going to talk about is the mechanics of a back bend. So what you need to consider in order to open up into a back Backbend. The second thing is I'm going to show the different types of backbends that I've seen in my students. You may be able to see your backbend in one of these. And then in the third part of this video, I'm going to show different exercises that you can do in order to help open up your body, in order to help deepen your backbend. Part one, the mechanics of a backbend. Now, when we think about backbend, we generally think about opening up the back. So back bends, the back bends. However, there's so much more to it than that. Think rather of a back bend as actually opening up all of the front side of your body. Going up into a back bend comfortably asks us for flexibility in five different parts of our body. And I'll go up in a back bend and I'll show you. So the five parts of our body that we're looking for flexibility in are the shoulders, then the chest, then the abdomen, then the psoas muscles, and then the quads. And so if you're lacking flexibility in one or several of these parts of your body, then these are things that you'll need to work on in order to help improve your back bend. Okay, so part two. Now I'm going to show you the most common forms of back bends that I see in my classes. And if you were to maybe do a back bend and take a picture, you might see yourself in one of these versions. And so whatever version you're in, that's perfect. If you want to then work on it in part three, then I'm going to show you a variety of exercises you can do to help open up your body. And so let's have a look. So the first most common thing I see, especially from complete, complete beginners who may have a bit of a stiffer body, is that they are able to bring their feet on the floor and gently push up. This is quite a common version for complete beginners who are working on understanding the mechanics of this pose. From here then, another thing is we can interlace the fingers or if we can maybe touch the heels or hold on to the ankles, that's another thing. Okay, so the second most common thing I see is people then, okay, right, so we bring the hands by the ears and all right, I get this bit and then somehow it's like, all right, I don't know what to do from here. The next one I generally see is for someone who, okay, they figured out that they can bring the top of their head to the floor and then somehow it's like about lacking an understanding or of where to go from here or maybe understanding how to push up from here. And then the next one is for someone who, okay, they figured out they can push up, but generally the hands tend to be quite far away. And then they push up, but they're struggling here and this is a bit of a struggle and they're more in a table top position rather than a bridge. And then from here, another version is for someone who, okay, maybe I've got a bit of flexibility. I can straighten my arms. And then someone with a bit more flexibility is able to actually come a bit closer into their bridge pose and then okay another version is if you want to work on opening up the chest another version would be then to straighten the legs and so these are common versions I see in in back bends and so maybe notice where you feel that you are in these and then after this, we're going to talk about a variety of exercises you can do. And we're going to use a variety of yoga props in order to see how you can access this pose. Okay, part three. Now let's look at all the things that you can do if you're working on deepening and opening up your back bends. So I've got a few things here. I've got some yoga blocks. I have a yoga bolster and I have a yoga wheel. Now you don't need to use all of these, I just have them. Just identify maybe what would be the most helpful for you and just work towards that. So the first thing we're going to use is one yoga block. Now this is something that my students absolutely love. I love to teach it, I love to practice it. And it's just a really beautiful exercise that you can do, so simple. So if you want to open up your chest because maybe you've been in front of a computer all day or you just want to help your posture, Get your one yoga block, place it underneath your shoulder blades 
and lie back, as simple as that. And this should feel absolutely wonderful. If you want to open up your shoulders a bit more, you can bring your arms over your head. Okay, I've got the wall here, or just hold on to your elbows. And this should really feel lovely. Now, if you want to make it just that much deeper, what we can do is we can use two yoga blocks. So we bring one underneath the shoulder blades, approximately, and one underneath the head. And again, if we want to just work on opening up the chest and improving our posture, this is wonderful. If we're working on opening up into back bend, then arms can come up over the head. Okay, I have the wall here, but arms can come up over the head. Ideally, we want our hands to be touching on something. So maybe bring a yoga bolster or something just to rest your hands there and it'll feel really, really nice. Now, for a more, not gentle, but a more, let's say, restorative way of opening up the chest. Now, this is something, again, that my students absolutely love is to lie back on the yoga bolster and as you might even be able to see this just feels really really calming and really really lovely so this is a nice way to help open up into open up your chest now as a little bonus to that if you're also opening up or working on opening up your quads if you identify that this is maybe where you're a bit stiff then this is a nice variation you can do bring your foot by your side and lie back and if you're quite flexible you could do the same with both feet now if you want to work on back bends with a yoga wheel then you can get your yoga wheel and as far as i know yoga wheels were designed for back bends so you can't go wrong with this so there's a few things you could do you could just lie back just to help open up the shoulders you can kind of roll a little bit these feel generally feel really, really, really nice. You can hold on to your wheel and kind of go back a bit more. There are so many things you can do with a yoga wheel. All right, now, next thing is, if you want to work on your back bends and you want to open up your psoas and your quads, now this is a little exercise that I don't generally teach. This is a friend of mine showed me this. She works here in the studio and works a lot on flexibility drills. Bring your knee as close as the, to the wall as you can, but just make sure you have enough padding on your yoga mat. So maybe you could put a little blanket underneath. So what we do is we bring the other foot forward and just, you'll notice by going back, you'll just notice how much this is stretching out. Of course, you can lower down also. <laughs> this is also really, really intense. So just make sure you're working to the level of your ability. So you can work on this version, you can work on coming closer to the wall and just seeing how close you can get. These are really nice things to work on. And of course you could add a more of a back bending element to this. So just work, find what, where you think your limitation is and work on that. And so this now is actually my favorite way of helping people get into back bends. Maybe if you're in the version where your hands are on the floor, you can kind of push away. This, I think, will really help you. So what we do is we get our yoga blocks, we put them on the wall at an angle because that'll help uh, give your wrists a little bit of a break also. So we lie back. All right, so we bring our hands to the blocks and then inhale, hips come up. Exhale here, and then inhale, push up. Now, if working on back bends can be a bit challenging for you, you might find this our version a little bit easier. If your back bends are quite easy, and then you want to just open up a bit more, what you can do is you can bring your feet a bit closer, and you can work on bringing your chest closer to the wall. And another thing that you could try to do, I know some of my students actually prefer this other way, is to bring your yoga blocks to the wall. And what we do is we put our feet on top of the blocks, quite, come quite close to the yoga blocks. And then from here, inhale, exhale, inhale, come up. And this version actually, it feels like the chest and kind of open up just that much more and get the shoulders over the wrists. And this can also feel really, really nice. 
So these are two extra versions you can work on for your back bends. Just remember, after working on back bends, Malasana for me at least is my favorite, favorite pose because it really helps to stretch the lower back. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you've got any questions, any tips you'd like to ask me about, let me know in the comments below. And if you're looking for a practice video which has back bends in it, you can check out this practice video here. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.